Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a What's in My Bag theme park ed edition and that's because a lot of people may be going to theme parks this summer and I consider myself a theme parking pro since I go so many times a year. So this is what I bring since I go all the time. Now if you're a tourist you might want to bring some more things especially maybe if, even if you're not staying on property. So let's get started. Usually I go to Disney um, maybe once in a while I go to SeaWorld. If I go to SeaWorld I probably wouldn't bring as much stuff but Disney has characters and things like that. So let's get started. Depending what I'm wearing, I might bring something else. I usually bring a small backpack, but in the summer I also like to bring this because my, <laughs> you sweat and your back gets all sweaty for your backpack. So this is a fossil bag that my mom got from TJ Maxx for Christmas. It's got a one to go across your body. It's faux leather. It's got one big pouch, a pouch in the back, a magnetic pouch, and a small pouch in the front. It's really good. To, it holds a lot of stuff you wouldn't realize. So let's get started. First thing I have is a water bottle. Water is a must have during the summer. You will get dehydrated. Bring at least two water bottles and then you can refill them. Uh, I have. I bring about three or four of this size. They all fit in here, surprisingly. Um, you're now, uh, back in the day you used to not bring a lot to bring food or water into Disney property, but now I think because they could have get, they probably got sued or something, so you can bring it. So I bring water, this is Sony, whatever. Um, for characters, you might want your autograph book. Um, this is actually Quentin's, but yeah, cause mine's over there somewhere and this was in my bag from last time cause I forgot it. So this is his, it's just simple, I have the same one except a different pen. So you want to be able to fill, meet all these characters and fill it up. So yeah, I got that. If you're pale like me or if you're like Quentin, don't want to get any darker, um, you bring some sunblock. Uh, this is SPF 30 and it's sports so it doesn't sweat off. I reapply this about every three or four hours, my face especially. I really don't care much on my arms because I don't usually run that badly on my arms. My face is the worst. Then I bring chargers, especially because I'm usually at Disney for a long time, 12, 13 hours usually. I bring my camera charger. These are usually all in a Ziploc bag. I bring my camera charger and I bring my phone charger. I surprisingly did not have to use my phone or camera charger on the last trip I went. Usually my phone dies pretty quickly. Make sure you have your wallet. I bring one like this. I'm going to show it's got my ID in it. But uh, this is easy because it has my ID. I bring a credit card and whatever cash I have. And I put my Disney ticket in here usually. You want to make sure you have your tickets or else you're kind of screwed. These are already being used, but those are tickets. I have a pen in here. I don't know why. If you want maybe a character's autograph or you need to write directions down or something about where a character's going to be at a certain time, you want to write something down. Then I have hand sanitizer because the park is disgusting. Trust me. Um, you know how many people touch that railing? Yeah. So hand sanitizer. I have a spray in case you start to smell because it is the summer. And uh, this is carried away by Bath and Body Works. Then I have a hair clip and a flower. This one changes in the sunlight. I have a whole video on Del Sol. You can click a little link right here and a hair tie in case I want to put my hair up or something like that because it starts to get really hot out. I got my Hada Blockos because it gets really hot, like I said. <laughs> These are not the ones I usually bring, but they're just in here. And then me and Quentin like to get mass amounts of pens. So I have like three. I have two I'm celebrating and one happily ever after. No, we're not engaged or anything. This is my favorite pen. I don't know why it's so cute. So they have pens that you can get at Magic Kingdom. Uh, there's a cart, I think at Epcot or, or Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. Just go to guest services and ask for one and they'll give it to you. Um, if you wear the birthday pen, you get special treatment. Trust me, I don't care if it's your birthday. Come up with something on the spot because that's what we do. <laughs> Then we have park maps. This is for Epcot. Even though we usually know where everything is, we pick this up because we want to try new places to eat. Also, the parades will be on here. We usually get a times guide. That's probably the best thing. If you know the park, you probably want a times guide to see like the times of parades. I would definitely recommend this for anyone who is a tourist because it'll be like your lifesaver. And it'll tell you places to eat and stuff wherever you are. And then I, oh look, I have another one <laughs> under the pen. And then I have receipts. And I think that is all that is in this bag. Yep, that's it. 
so that's everything that's in my bag for a theme park also you want to have your camera in there and your phone maybe in your pocket but that's it i'm using my camera right now so i can't really pull it out so that's what uh is in my purse for the theme park so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys later bye